Hi, in this video, we'll talk about CloudFormation template. We'll look into our templates to get an idea on how a template looks like. So let's get started. As we discussed earlier in some uh, earlier uh, uh, videos that a declaration or instruction to deploy resources uh, to deploy stack um, on AWS is called a cloud formation template and it can be written in uh, JSON or YAML. So to learn templates and to write your own template, you need to learn either JSON or YAML, which is outside of the scope of this uh, course. However, um, it is not uh, uh, a hard one. You can easily learn a JSON or YAML and these files you can create by using any text editor um, i personally prefer any simple uh, text editors like notepad uh, which do not have a lot of formatting options and uh, it's as i said that it's uh, very easy to learn json or yaml and you need to learn them um, I, I, either of them not uh, you don't necessarily need both of them um, to be able to uh, write templates and you can also edit any existing templates. So, in this uh, course, so wherever we have any example of templates, we will uh, use the JSON uh, syntax. But um, at this point, with this video tutorial, even if you don't know if, and, or even if you don't have any idea about JSON or YAML, uh, should not be a problem to follow. And uh, a template is saved as a um, simple text file. Normally it has uh, either of these four um, extensions, .json or .yaml or .template or .txt. At this point, probably we should have an upfront node that uh, a bucket on AWS is a storage space created uh, in the same region where the stack is uh, created. So um, let's look into how it uh, looks like a template. It's, uh, as I said, that it's very easy to understand. It's very, very easy to learn JSON. And even if we don't know JSON, um, it should not be a big deal for us to understand what is going on and what we are talking about. If you look carefully, uh, this is the standard template that you need to follow. And uh, I won't be much technical here, um, but if you have a programming background, if you're not a bit of programming, then you know that uh, this is one block. So from here and from here is one block. And within this block, we have sub blocks. This block starts here and uh, ends here. And this block starts here and ends here. So this block belongs to this part and uh, hello bucket and the hello bucket and everything all together. This part belongs to the resources uh, block and they all together makes the whole document. So, um, if you look carefully, you'll see this is a reserved keyword for uh, AWS, which is resources. And it means that we are declaring a resource. Uh, we give the name hello bucket. It is our own defined name, let's say. And the type is an AWS S3 bucket. So to write a template, we need to know what are the standard keywords. This, you cannot make any exception. If you want to have an AWS S3 bucket, you have to write in this. Way. So what types are available there? And we said resources, what else could go there in um, a template? This is uh, what you can learn uh, in detail uh, from AWS website, the best place for any resources on uh, any AWS services and uh, if you go to the AWS website and uh, look for cloud formation user uh, guide, you will find a detailed explanation on um, cloud formation 
which includes the detailed discussion on the templates as well. So uh, this is a very a simple view of a template where we are asking the cloud formation to allocate a resource, which is a, a bucket, and we are giving the name hello bucket. So let's see a bit uh, more complex one here. So we have here another example. Um, so here we see that the resource, uh, so we have our resource called hello bucket. And we said the type is uh, an AWS S3 bucket. It might have some other properties as well that we can define. So here you see properties. Um, you see access control is a public grid and website configuration. But what is the configuration? The index document uh, by default should be this uh, this page. If you're into web you, the website development, uh, you know that. And uh, if there is any error, so it will uh, display the this page. So the main point here is that you declared a, a resource. You gave the name of the resource, what type it is you're saying. And also you can specify properties. Um, there's a lot more to the story, as I said, that you need to refer to the whole um, user guide for the, the reference manual that you can find on AWS website. So this is um, a bit more elaborated version of the previous one. Now let's look into um, another example to understand a bit further on template. So here we have another um, template file. If you um, are familiar with the EC2 that we have in some other video tutorials, we know that we um, we need a key pair. We need uh, to configure security group, and we need to specify the ports, the services that we need. So, if you look carefully in this template, you see that in the resources we are creating a uh, one EC2 instance, and we're saying type and properties. And here, if you look, we have a new thing, which is called ref, reference, instances security group. And if you look further elsewhere in the document, you will find instance security group. So instance security group has this, has block up to this point. If you look carefully, you can find out that uh, the innermost is this and the, this one paired with this one. This one paired with this one, and this one is paired with this one. So this is the block, which uh, defines what is the security group. And if you see that um, this in the security group, uh, you have a description, which describes what it, this is all about. It's a, it's um, an appling SSH port, um, port access or via port 20, uh, 22. And, um, what protocol is being used and uh, we see that the security group ingress means the incoming traffic to the web server is through port 22 and uh, if we, uh, as we have seen um, in EC2 tutorial that uh, by this CIDR IP we mean we want to access it from an, an anywhere open access so um, this is the security group that we are referring here. So the moment we refer here, this reference looks for this security group, the same name, and understands that by this security group, group we are referring to th this one. So the, the reason we can write uh, like this is uh, if you, you can write this block so that, let's say, for example, if you have um, the, a very big template file with uh, 500 uh, lines of, of code, you can have a when you master on this uh, templates, you see that the templates could be really big, a uh, really long one. So, you might need to use the same security group in a lot of places in different places. So, you just create once and you just simply refer them as and when and where, wherever you want to use it. However, if we come back to this next a key name, so you give the key name and so other properties. So this is another um, 
a bit more elaborated version of uh, a template file so here the new thing that we saw is the reference let's see um, another example so here we have another example uh, further um, explanation on the parameters so now here you see that if um, you use the template um, for one specific region uh, then you can um, sort of um, fix the key name but if you want to use the template in different locations then the key pair will be different in that case um, what you do you declare parameters parameters in a non-technical way if we say in here we define the things that we want to take input from the users so it, instead of hard coding uh, the key by defining parameters like this we are what we are achieving here that when we run this template this template will ask the user to enter the key name the key pair value because this is the key name is we are giving a re reference to the key name which is a parameter so on the screen the users whoever is configuring whoever is running the template will see that uh, when there is the resources are being deployed um, AWS is asking for the this parameter which is key name in this case so that is why, uh, why we use parameters and uh, if we keep moving on we look into um, another um, example which again um, just a, a bit elaboration of uh, previous one here the only difference is that you have uh, parameters uh, with key name so and you also have a parameter for what let's say if it is for a wordpress website it's a wordpress user you can give a default value and you can give other specifications as you can see that what type of input is it is and uh, what would be maximum and minimum length what pattern you are going to allow you can also have uh, a define the web server port which port is the default and what could be the minimum value of the port and maximum value of the port and so on this is just for your um, um just to give you an idea that what how a template is created this is um i would say beginning of the story when it comes to templates not the all of the story it's just um, an abstract of what a, t a cloud formation template is so um, to conclude, uh, these points are very important. Um, we need to keep in mind that uh, we discussed just the very basics uh, of uh, cloud formation templates, which will help you to understand the templates. Um, if if we, you look into some um, templates on AWS, uh, now you will understand that what is written and you, uh, it's very important to note that if you want to become a guru or a solution developer on AWS, you need to learn template in depth. And we see just a, at the introduction level of the templates up here because um, uh, learning templates in detail is uh, sort of out of the scope for this uh, course. However, as uh, I discussed earlier, that uh, the best place to find the fully explained and total reference is the aws website if you go there and search for cloud formation user guide you will find everything about cloud formation and everything about templates also um, for any other web service it's uh, aws service not just uh, cloud formation um, the best resource you can find is on the a a aws uh, website um, just search for developer guide or user guide you should be able to find for example you can search for ec2 user guide in the same way you can search for um, cloud formation user guide however um, so the concluding note is that we have seen just the very basics of template to understand what goes on and how a template looks like and you this is a um, a topic that uh, you cannot avoid if you want to become a guru um, 
and uh, the best resources you can find on the on AWS website. Thank you.